Hey there, well in today's video I'm going to be showing you some of the best singers that I found on TikTok recently or more honestly that the algorithm has pushed down my throat as a fellow singer. So let's dive right in and let me know what you guys think in the comments as well. All right, let's do it. Woo! So yeah, as you can see I'm wearing my in-ear monitors because they're doing some jackhammering outside. Very uncool to the YouTube music community. All right, let's go. Number one. Okay, so this guy's name is Jimmy Levy. It's pretty crazy what he can do with his voice, um, especially in this please version. Stop commenting that my voice is fake. Like on my last post, everyone thought my voice was fake. They thought so his voice annoying. was fake. They thought it was fake. Goosebumps. But no. That is amazing. That is amazing. All right. Well, we quickly have to go and show you the other kind of style he does. So that that style is is quite Sam Smith, I guess. Um, let's try. Let's try a little bit of this one. I think he. The challenge. Your eyes smooth as Tennessee whiskey. Your eyes sweet as strawberry. All right, now you guys have to let me know for Jimmy Levy whether you prefer the like super high Sam Smith vibe or kind of this more country, a little more gravel, a little bit more cognac in the voice. Um, yeah, let me know which version you like better. I think I'm leaning towards the, the Sam Smith style. It's, uh, it's amazing to be able to hit those super high notes. So I'm really impressed with that. All right, should we move on to number two? Me think so. Okay, now this chick is the business. Her name is Lizzie McAlpine, or McAlpine, probably McAlpine. And uh, this one has loads of views already. Uh, it's got 1.5 million likes. Anson Sebra, who's like blowing up on TikTok, he's huge now. And uh, he's commented as well saying it's incredible. So, whew, I didn't want to build it up too much, but it's pretty good. Here we go. You ruined the 1975 Now I listen and think about getting high In your bedroom, windows open Mom is home but we're still smoking You ruined the 1975 Now I listen and cry As you sang, we share friends in Soho While you told me that none of your friends know And I hated you for that But it's been two years now And I really just hate you for making me hate my favorite she's amazing she's totally kicking ass right now let's see how many followers does she have uh bum 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 she has got 148,000 followers and just based on that song alone i think she totally deserves it i haven't looked through all her other tiktoks but i love that original and when you see like original songs blowing up on tiktok that makes me so happy as a fellow musician because i'm like oh there's there's one thing doing covers really well, but to like get people to notice an original song, that is next level difficult. So huge props to Lizzie McAlpine. She's doing so great. Go check her out online as well, guys. All right, now, oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be juicy. So <laughs> this guy's called Cloudy McDoom and he's doing Panic at the Disco. And day one of listening to Panic at the Disco. Day two of listening to Panic at the Disco. Day three of listening to Panic at the Disco with you. Let's just unpack this. He slayed it, all right? Let me know in the comments if you were big fans of Panic at the Disco. I was and still am a huge fan of Brandon Yuri, but he's crushing it cloudy is crushing it it's so good um and i love the mickey mouse gloves and the attire and the wig perfect perfect that's why i dig this guy so much let's see how many followers he's got uh he's on sixty-four thousand followers so that's not bad he's got almost uh, nine hundred thousand likes that's pretty huge 
All right, the next one up is a girl called Lynn, and the lyrics pretty hard hitting in this one, so I'll just keep my trap shut so you can hear what's going on. She was only 17 when Pretty Sermon came offering that all her dreams would come true. He said, Come here, sweetie, I can make you a star. I just want to see you flourish, and I know you make it far. What she couldn't see was he was in it for the money. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. I mean, it could be worse, right? It could be worse if the producer wasn't just in it for the money and he was in it for more nefarious purposes, you know, taking advantage of a 17-year-old girl, which definitely has been known to happen in the music industry. The kind of industry execs taking advantage of the artist or the talent. You know, in my case, we got approached by a manager. He said, yeah, I'm going to make you guys huge, blah, 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 blowing loads of smoke up our derrieres. Um, but yeah, based on a little Googling, we found out that, you know, we would have been the biggest artist that he had, like no one else on his roster had more Spotify streams or followers or anything. So you got to be so careful, even when, even when people approach you and are really flattering, you got to really take a second and be like, let's do some research on this person. So yeah, that's a, that's pretty great. The song is called Producer Man by Lynn. So it's worth checking out as well. That's huge. That's got 7.6 million likes. So she is slaying it on the ticket talkie. Guys, if you're still with me and you've liked this video so far, let me know in the comments by typing, wow. <laughs> that way I can uh, give a little love to the artists that have been in this video. Uh, go check them out on their social profiles while you're uh, while you're lingering in the comments, why don't you click that little subscribe button and the bell. That way you can get more of my videos I post every week on Friday. And uh, you can also check out some of my original music. You might like my indie with a Caribbean twist. So thanks so much for watching. Let's get into Stephen Stanley music. All right, this is badass. I'm not going to say anything. We'll discuss afterwards. First things first, I'ma say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been. Oh, woo, the way that things have been. Oh, woo. Second thing, second, don't you tell me what you think that I could be. I'm the one at the sail, I'm the master of my sea. Oh, woo, the master of my sea. Oh, woo. I was broken from a young age, taking my soul into the masses, writing my poems for review. They took to me, shook to me, feeling me singing the heartache from the pain, taking my message from the veins, taking my lessons from the brain, seeing the beauty through the pain. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Stephen Sandy, kicking butt, kicking butt. That's so cool. I love that track. Okay, wow. As we can see, Stephen has released a bunch of TikToks already, um, all kind of similar in style, but his first one did pretty well with 100,000 views. That one that we just checked out was 2.8 million. So that is that is his number one so far. He deserves it, man. He's really, really good. So go check out Stephen Stanley Music. Let's go for something totally different now. Let's go for something totally different. I really like this uh, original track from a girl in New Zealand. Her name is Cassie Henderson. Let's hear what she's got to say. Go, Go Cassie. Cassie, you, you can, can do it. it. We started getting ready at night. I put on something black and tight. Oh yeah, I know that's just what you like, but I didn't do it for you. No, no I didn't do it for you. No. Walk down the street. All right, digging it, digging it, digging it, digging it. Very different to the track that we just heard, but she has got such a sweet voice. I just, it's kind of like that, that girl next door that you can just easily listen to on a chilled Sunday afternoon. So Cassie, you got my vote and you're from New Zealand. Pretty much most things from New Zealand work out pretty well. So go check out Cassie. Now for our final number, we're gonna be listening to Corey Black 
This is uh, pretty cool. You can see the brother's reaction in the background, so it's worth checking out, and I love his tone. So let's see what Corey's got for us today. Don't make me close from my door. I don't wanna hurt anymore. It's got the wrist. Stay in my arms if you dare. Or must I imagine you there? Don't walk away from me. I have nothing, nothing, nothing if I don't have you. Man, props to the brother in the background. The thing with TikTok is you don't really know how staged a lot of these videos are. Like, I'm sure his brother would have heard him sing. If he had a voice like that, his brother has heard it. That is not the first time the brother's listening to that. Um, so it may or may not be staged, but regardless of whether it's staged, he has a wonderful voice. You know, to be able to acapella Whitney Houston like that, you have some chops. Um, and I just love the brother's face, man. Like, oh. <laughs> All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and you also like the artist that I posted, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell so that you can see my videos in the future. Next week, I'm making a video on how much I, as an independent musician, made on Spotify from over a million streams. So that should be pretty interesting, whether you're a musician yourself or a music fan, just to see how much independent artists make from Spotify streams and if it's enough to pay the bills. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not. <laughs> uh, but yeah, click the subscribe button. Also, go check out my original music. I make music as The Curious Incident. I'm on Spotify, I'm on TikTok as well. Put those handles in the description as well as handles of all of the artists that you've heard on this video today. So much love to those guys. Go support them. Keep loving music. Keep supporting independent musicians. Peace out.